At the front, it's still Bauer and Ralston powering towards the stage finish at Tiano. And what I wouldn't give to hear what they're saying to each other now is that Jack Bauer looks round into the face of Hayden Ralston. What can they be saying to each other as they run into Tiano here? Well, Bauer, of course, now knows that he has to defend the tour lead for... Well, he's saying something as we go back to Alex Ray. And this is the second group. The third group are coming up to join them. And this is the group that contains Jeremy Yates. There's Jeremy Yates. He's catching up. Unbelievable. He's catching up to the second second group on the road here that contains Michael Olheiser, we can see in the middle of our screen. And George Bennett on the front. And they're working pretty hard because they want to catch these two. It is a fair dinkum race, and it's all happening now. And these two are an unlikely pair to cooperate together in a way, aren't they? Share the road, and um, Calder Stewart, Bike NZ National, they're number two and number three on the, on the race GC as we left this morning. And they're working together to put some time into everybody else in the race. So Alex Ray goes through shot. There's Floyd Landis. And at the back, Josh Atkins. Just looking at George Bennett as the two 20-year-olds sit on the back. And boy, the race experience these two are learning and the race craft they're learning from some of these other experienced riders is going to stand them in good stead for the years to come. And boy, I hope we get to see a lot more of them on the Tour of Southland in the years to come. Michael Olheiser, no doubt, giving them some information. What's well, that? George Bennett's got some questions. Well, talking about the people that are charging up behind him. Look at Sergio Hernandez, gritting his teeth. He seems to do that all the time. His dentist must love him. There's the front two, Ralston and Bauer. Look at the power of these guys just eating up this New Zealand countryside. And look at the smooth style of both of them. Well, we saw them at the Commonwealth Games, these two riding together. And there was a certain point in that race with about three laps to go. And Ralston said to Bauer, came up alongside him and said, have a go. <laughs> and Jack Bauer thought, oh no, I'm absolutely stuffed. But because Hay Hayden told me to go, he went and he attacked the field. G'day Hayden, how you doing? And uh, he knows that we're keeping an eye on him. Well, Michael Olheiser on the outside, George Bennett. George Bennett there. He's asking, he's asking the cameraman and the motorbike rider where Jeremy Yates is. I think they've heard on their radios. Well, there he is right there. There's his answer. I think they'd heard on the radios that Jeremy Yates had fallen off his bike. They are wondering if he's out of the race. Well, he's not out of the race. Quite the opposite. He's led this group back up to the second group on the road, and they've joined together. Now they've got a group of about 10 riders. So Yates and Clinton Avery. Who else have we got in there? Couple Mike of the Northey, Shem, Shem Roger, Roger. Pedro Palmer. And, well, they're joining up to the group that contained Bennett and Atkins. Five Ks to go. And the gap coming through, they're telling us at uh, about a minute 30 now from these two back to the chasers. And really, Johnny, the, given the quality of these two, this, this stage is all but over. One of these two is going to win. Well, they, they won't catch them with 5Ks to go in a minute and over a minute, will they? Well, we see uh, Jack Bauer loosening off his cover, his... Uh, jerkin which uh, the share the road jerkin and that will expose his new zealand champions shirt oh we've seen well that. We've we seen saw jeremy we happen see, already oh, today haven't we that with was this. going through my mind Cross please your fingers, be careful folks. <laughs> he's desperate to get that off it's hot and he wants to lose it but he doesn't want to put it through his wheel which jeremy yates did and okay, that, look. that is something that has happened before in bike races when it, suddenly we start with a very wet day and go to a dry day and uh, guys start shedding their arm warmers and their what, leg warmers and what have you. And, well, the next thing you know, you've got people on the deck. I've got two questions now, John. The first question is, how much time are these guys going to gain on Jeremy Yates, the tour leader, by the end of this stage into town now? What difference is this going to make to the race? As we see Jack Bauer giving our cameraman his jersey, that's quite nice. Helps out the cameraman, helps out the rider, but also free jersey. Yeah, well, I might just ask where we put it because that might make a good souvenir. Share the road jerkin. All and right, here we go. The Pure Black Boys and uh, in behind them, Alex Ray. Then we've got the under-23 leader, Josh Atkins. No, there's Alex Ray. I beg your pardon. Now we've got uh, the first, that's Sergio Hernandez. You can tell by the way he's gripping his teeth as we cut back again to the front two. The other question I've got, yes, as well as how much time are these guys going to get on Jeremy Yates with this, is who's going to win this stage? Well... 
Well, this will be interesting because we've seen, um, we saw Jack Bauer beat Hayden Ralston in the sprint at the National Road Championships. And I don't all think the way Ro- back in January. All the way back in January, but I don't think Rowley's going to fall for that again. He'll be no. aware of him now. He knows about this kid, and he knows he's going to have to be at his top, at his peak, to get past him. And what gap do they need? What are they going to win by? Well, it's about a minute 30 now, so you can expect it to be over a minute anyway by the finish. But these guys are getting themselves organised. There's Olheiser, Clinton Avery behind him. Glenn coming Chadwick. through Glenn Chadwick and behind him uh, we've got Sergio uh, Hernandez and Hernandez and looking back looking to around, see who's next saying come on guys let's put some Shem effort Roger, in and Floyd Landis the yellow jersey of Jeremy Yates and the pink jersey of the under 23 leader Josh Atkins so Jeremy Yates finding himself in great company here a lot of these guys doing a lot of good work and it's all helping him because he's the one in here with the most to lose he's the one who's getting his place taken by these two riders up here Jack Bauer and Hayden Rolson as they roll around and they're coming down towards the lake now with only two or three k's to go into town now so this is coming down to a sprint between these two they're going to win the stage one of them is going to win the stage Jack Bauer and Hayden Ralston, my money's on Ralston because, as I said before, I don't think he's going to let this kid get away from him. And the two strong men work their way down this slight incline and they'll find themselves coming out onto the lake shore and they go along the lake shore for about half a kilometre and then turn onto the boulevard for the stage finish. Always a great finish here in Tiana, and here come the chasers, and at the front, Jeremy Yates, he's having to do it himself, limit his losses, because he is going to lose the jersey today, Josh Atkins will keep the jersey, he was under 23 leader, and uh, in behind him, Shem Roger, and Michael Olheiser from the United States for the Jackson Plumbing Team. This is hard on Jeremy Yates, he's lost the two leaders jersey before on the final day, this is the second to final day, and here he is going to lose it again, so... This will be really tough on Jeremy Yates today. He's raced so well and so strongly, especially when the race has gone up hills. So there is the lake shore as we look and see the front two working their way along it. We're not too far away from the finish here. It's decision time for these two. Where do we want to position ourselves? It's not time to start playing ducks and drakes and match sprinting just yet as they swing around into the final bend and take themselves along in front of all the motels and flash houses. Here we go, down towards the front and uh, Ralston on one side, Bauer on the other as Jeremy Yates still pounding it out. He knows he's got work to do, he's got to limit his losses, he'll be needed tomorrow by Jack Bauer. If Bauer's in the yellow jersey, remember uh, Hayden Ralston could get away from him, there's Lake Tiano here at the front too, past the flash houses, past the motels and hotels and heading towards a finish. One thing Jeremy Yates can be happy to, to know is that he's not going to lose his third, he won't lose third place. The guys who are in fourth and fifth are with him in this group, so uh, at the end of the day it's looking like Jeremy Yates is going to be in third place. Sergio Hernandez goes to the front. The American puts the power on. He's got another yank behind him and Michael Olheiser, then Floyd Landis, and then uh, looked like Glenn Chadwick. So now we get towards the situation where we come down to the sprint and it's time to sort out where you want to be on the road because we're coming up to the finish and uh, Hayden Ralston comes around the top of Bauer and he puts him into this car on the side of the road. Sneaky stuff from Hayden Ralston and he upset Jack Bauer's rhythm there. He did that absolutely perfectly. There was a car parked there and he used it to his advantage. There's the one 300 metres to go sign and they'll make the final turn into the finishing straight. Hayden Ralston in the lead, Jack Bauer behind him. Who's going to win this one? Bauer gives it a kick. Ralston responds. They head for the line. They're both out of the saddle giving it absolutely everything. Ralston's in front. Bauer's on his wheel. Can Bauer come round him as they come up to the line I don't think he's going to and it's going to be Hayden and Ralston that will win the seventh stage of the PowerNet Tour of Southland and here comes the peloton now they'll be sprinting for third place they sure are they're sprinting for third place Jeremy Yates is sprinting to keep as much as short of a time gap between him Hayden Ralston and Jack Bauer as he can so uh, it's all on across the waterfront of TR now and now they start to wind it up because third place, there's money on the line. So we've got uh, Chadwick, or actually it was Shem Roger, Hernandez, and then Clinton Avery. And there goes Josh Atkins in the pink jersey around the outside of him, sprinting for third place. Atkins will lead them into the final straight. They come around into the boulevard. Josh Atkins in the lead. Who's next? It looks like it might be Clinton Avery down there. We're pretty high up in the sky here. Can't really see that well. 
No, hey, uh, Avery's back a little bit further, and I think that's him coming around the outside of Atkins. As they head down to the line, it's going to be Clinton Avery from Sergio Hernandez and Josh Atkins. After three hours and 42 minutes of racing, Hayden Ralston and Jack Bauer put one minute and 42 into Clinton Avery, Sergio Hernandez, Josh Atkins, and with them, Jeremy Yates. You know, I've said all along in this tour that it's not over until the finish line in Vicargo, and, uh, and I knew today that uh, all that energy I'd saved up until, uh, up until today would definitely play into my advantage. Seven seconds or, or such like a bit better odds than 20? Yeah. <laughs> what will be the plan tomorrow? Uh, well, if you're a betting man, I wouldn't bet against you tomorrow. I won the race twice on the stage, so um, we'll just wait and see. I might have to turn myself into a sprinter overnight. Hayden Ralston will be dreaming overnight of three seconds. That's all his deficit is from Jack Bauer. Jeremy Yates is back in third at 1 minute 24. Floyd Landis and Michael Olheiser round out the top five. You've got just a few seconds over Hayden Ralston. What's that going to mean for tomorrow? Uh, it's all on, obviously. Mm. Good. And um, what about, is it controversy in the team about working with Rowley at the end there, or is it everything cool? We haven't even really talked. No, nah, everything's cool. Good stuff. It came down to it. I mean, if I didn't work with him, obviously etiquette won't allow me to, to sprint for the stage. I can't sit on him all day and then take the stage off him. But uh, I wanted I wanted to gamble for those time bonuses, so I thought I'm going to work work with Rolly, try and win the kick, and try and get those time bonuses. But should have let out the sprint. He let out, shut me out on each side, easily won it. And what about tomorrow? How are your legs? Good, good. Yeah. We'll be seeing some fireworks. Yeah. The yellow jersey changes riders, but not teams. It goes to Jack Bauer of Share the Road. Joe Cooper cements his place. He will be our king of the mountains. Roman Van Uden also cannot be overtaken now. He's our sprint ace in the PowerNet Tour of Southland. And Josh Atkins' grand breakaway today gives him a five-minute cushion in the under-23 jersey.